Hey Super Bits fam, it's Ash from Super Videos. Welcome back to another episode where we compare The Last of Us on HBO and The Walking Dead on AMC. Today, we're gonna continue our exploration and discuss how horror is masterfully presented in these shows. From heart-pounding jump scares to spine-chilling, slow-burn horror, blood, gore, zombies, and monsters. These series have given us some unforgettable, hair-raising moments. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to get this episode underway. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, if you enjoyed the video by the end, smash that like button. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe to join our community and press that little bell button to be notified when there's new uploads on the channel. So let's get into it. In our last episode, we took a deep dive into the intriguing realm of character development and story in The Walking Dead and The Last of Us adaptation. You can click the link that's going to drop on the top right to check that video out. Today, we're going to continue our exploration and discuss how horror is masterfully presented in these shows. Now, when it comes to The Last of Us, let's clear something up right off the bat. It's not your typical zombie show and it shouldn't be categorized as one. Even though the video game that inspired it had strong zombie elements, the HBO adaptation of The Last of Us is more of a character-driven drama set in a post-apocalyptic world rather than anything, where the focus is on exploring the human condition amidst the devastation caused by the cordyceps infection. The monsters, such as infected, clickers, and the dreaded bloater, were indeed a fantastic and haunting aspect of the show, although limited. However, it was never intended to be solely about these creatures. The narrative primarily revolved around the complex relationship between the characters, their struggles, and the moral dilemmas they face in this unforgiving world. Now, it's essential to recognize that the decision to steer away from the traditional zombie formula in The Last of Us HBO adaptation was intentional and rooted in the show's attempt to bring something fresh and unique to the table. While this creative decision may have resonated well with some fans, there were others who had a different set of expectations. Many avid fans of the video game were expecting a full-fledged zombie horror experience on television. They had been waiting to see the intense and nerve-wracking encounters with the hordes of infected and the spine-chilling moments that made the game such a terrifying joyride. As passionate horror enthusiasts, these video game fans couldn't help but feel disappointed and even betrayed when the show focused more on human drama than the anticipated horror elements like the game. The limited number of monster encounters left them yearning for the heart-pounding fear they had come to expect from The Last of Us universe. It's crucial to remember that adaptations often walk a fine line between staying true to the source material and creating something new for a different medium. While some fans were disappointed, others embraced the adaptation's fresh take on the story and its exploration of human emotions and relationships far more than the game in some aspects. Of course, with some seasons to come in The Last of Us HBO series, it's clear that the showrunners may take the creative decision to mix things up and increase the elements of horror in future seasons, which many fans would welcome with open arms. However, this would not do much in making fans like or hate the first season anymore. A season that many fans believe is what really counts. On the other hand, let's talk about The Walking Dead. This show has been a juggernaut in the horror genre, and one of the reasons for its immense success has been its constant supply of zombies and action. Even during seasons where gore was torn down, the presence of zombies and the thrilling action remained a consistent aspect of the show's appeal. And the show never failed to introduce unique and terrifying zombies. Unlike The Last of Us, The Walking Dead served up an abundance of undead terror, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. Throughout the series, this continuous flow of zombies and the constant sense of danger contributed to the show's lasting impact on the horror genre. Now don't get me wrong, both shows have their unique way of approaching horror, and they manage to scare audiences in their own 
distinct manner. The Last of Us used its limited monster encounters to create a more psychological and tense horror, tapping into the fear of the unknown. On the other hand, The Walking Dead unleashed a relentless wave of undead horror, creating an adrenaline-fueled roller coaster of fear and excitement. Ultimately, the effectiveness of horror is subjective and varies from person to person. Some may prefer the slow burn terror of The Last of Us, while others crave the adrenaline rush of The Walking Dead. But regardless of personal preference, both shows have managed to captivate audiences and leave an incredible mark in the horror genre. The captivating world of horror in The Last of Us and The Walking Dead has given us some unforgettable and terrifying moments. The Last of Us HBO adaptation may not have been the conventional zombie show some fans expected, but it successfully carved its own path with a focus on character-driven drama. While some video game fans felt disappointed and even betrayed, others appreciated the show's fresh take on the story. Before we go, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on The Last of Us HBO adaptation? Do you believe it should have leaned more into the horror aspect or did you appreciate the focus on character development? Let me know in the comments below. Join us next time as we explore the big question in all of our minds in the final episode of the series. Which was a better adaptation, The Last of Us or The Walking Dead? That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.